the Queen has made a shock revelation about U.S. President Donald Trump's summer visit to Buckingham Palace, when he ruined a prized possession. Donald Trump visited the UK on a formal state visit in June this year, where he was treated to a royal banquet and hosted by the 93-year-old Queen Elizabeth at Buckingham Palace. Mr. Trump was full of praise for Her Majesty's hospitality, and bragged she had never had as much fun as she did during his visit. But despite his sensational claims, it seems he may not have been as popular a guest as he'd hoped. During the visit, Mr. Trump reportedly insisted on flying into Buckingham Palace by helicopter twice in one day, the Sunday Times has revealed. This left permanent damage on one of the Queen's prized possessions, the lawn at the palace. The day after the damage was done, Her Majesty is said to have expressed her distress to Scott Morrison, the Australian Prime Minister, who had also travelled to the UK for the D-Day commemorations. A source close to Mr Morrison said, he had got off the plane and went straight to the palace to see the Queen, who led him out to the gardens and said, come and look at my lawn. It's ruined. The Marine One helicopter is said to have left scorch marks and craters in the grass. Mr. Trump and the First Lady Melania received an official welcome from Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall when they disembarked the chopper. A support helicopter, Nighthawk 2, also parked on the lawn. Later that day, Trump used a helicopter for the three-mile journey to the palace from Winfield House in Regent's Park, the U.S. Ambassador's residence, where he was staying, landing on the Queen's lawn to attend the state banquet. The main lawn at Buckingham Palace is the centerpiece for the Queen's official residence and forms the focal point of the monarch's annual garden parties. The green-fingered Queen also uses the pristine lawns as her go-to dog walking spot. Last month, it emerged a new presidential helicopter, which is due to go into service next September, had a flaw, causing similar damage to the White House lawn during testing. In 2016 the Queen opposed a request from US security services for six helicopters to land at Windsor Castle when Barack Obama visited. She insisted on fewer helicopters to protect her lawns. However, Mr. Trump's security didn't get the memo and the president was oblivious to the offense. On the same day, he tweeted, London part of trip is going really well. The Queen and the entire royal family have been fantastic great love all around. During a speech at the banquet later, he described the Queen as a great, great woman. And in an interview with Fox News Fox and Friends show, he said, I have such a great relationship, and we were laughing and having fun. And her people said she hasn't had so much fun in 25 years. Then I got criticized for it because they said we were having too much fun. Adding she was an incredible lady, he also said, I feel I know her so well and she certainly knows me very well right now, but we have a very good relationship also with the United Kingdom. The Queen, 93, is said to have expressed her distress to Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison, who had also travelled to the UK for the D-Day commemorations. According to the Sunday Times, a source said, he Scott had got off the plane and went straight to the palace to see the Queen, who led him out to the gardens and said, come and look at my lawn. It's ruined. The publication reported how Trump's helicopter engines left scorch marks on the palace grass and the wheels disturbed the turf. The section of lawn is said to be favored by the Queen, who takes her dogs for walks there when she is staying at Buckingham Palace. The patch is overlooked by several state apartments and is where Her Majesty hosts her famous annual garden parties. When Trump arrived at the palace with wife Melania, they received an official welcome from Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall. His helicopter was also joined by support helicopter Nighthawk 2, which parked on the lawn nearby. Later that day, Trump used the helicopter for the three-mile trip from Buckingham Palace to his accommodation for the trip, Winfield House in Regent's Park, which is where the US ambassador lives. He also landed on the Buckingham Palace lawn for the lavish state banquet held in his honor. Trump seems to be unaware of the damage caused and tweeted following the visit, London part of the try is going really well. The Queen and the entire royal family have been fantastic. Great love all around. During his speech at the banquet, he added that the Queen is a great, great woman. 
When Barack Obama was scheduled to arrive at Windsor Castle for her 90th birthday, the Queen is said to have denied a request for six helicopters to land on the lawn to avoid any damage. Buckingham Palace has been contacted for comment. Trump appears to have patted the Queen on the back at the state banquet in violation of no-touch protocol.